participants are still on edge as they continue to feel aftershocks tonight. And although experts can't say for certain what started this seismic swarm, some are certain it won't get much worse than it already has. In the digital age, you knew there'd be home video. The house is going down. This house in Brawley, California, about 120 miles east of San Diego, did not come down. None did, but some 400 earthquakes over a several-hour period Sunday did cause minor damage to several homes and buildings. As predicted by a prototype early warning system at Caltech Seismological Lab, just about all the quakes were relatively minor in the magnitude 3 range with a few just over 5. We were doing pretty well at, at estimating the probable magnitudes of these earthquakes. But locals in Brawley are still feeling tremors and continue to be on edge. I was literally watching it and the pieces of the wall were falling. The last swarm in the same area was in 1981, just north of Brawley, with the largest tremor, a 5.8 magnitude. So now the concern is, is this swarm today leading up to the big one? And the answer is no. This earthquake is just happening too far south from the San Andreas. We've seen many such swarms in Brawley over the last century, never followed by something on the San Andreas. On an average California day, there are around 50 barely noticeable earthquakes statewide, but 400 in one day, in one spot? I don't like this. That was something that certainly did not go unnoticed. Now, despite this prediction, the Imperial County Emergency Operations Center urges families to always be ready by having an emergency preparedness